Hi guys, it is Cornijn Steinman from 60secondsbinaryoptions.com. I trade binary options for a living and I only trade high probability setups. Today I gonna share with you guys the advanced version of what we call the U-Day system. We only trade the pin bars, but on the advanced system we only trade with a trend. Now all these bars are 5 minutes. Um, what's important here is this, uh, we're gonna use this 50 day moving average as well as a 20 day, 21 day exponential moving average to determine if a trend is uh, or up or down. Now if you get like the 50 day and the 21, um, the 21 is above a 50 day, then the, price, the trend is upwards. So we want to see the price goes above it and then we wait for the price to retrace. As the price retraces to the 21 day or the 50 day moving average, we're looking for a bull bar with a pin. If there is a yellow arrow on that pin, it's even better. Sometimes um, the yellow arrow don't come uh, at that same point, um, so you, you, it can repaint and you can see it later. So if I get a bull bar at the 21 over 50 day moving average, I look for the next bar as it opens. I want that price to retrace to the, the nearest support. You can see here this 21 day, um, it became support. So as price came to this area, I take a 5 minute call or a 10 minute or a 15 minute. Sometimes I take all three of them here. If you look here, price goes up, it comes back to this 21 day, 50 day moving average and win. And then I wait for the price to retrace to the 21 day, there is my support there. And then I take a 5 minute call or a 10 minute or a 15 day, uh, um, 15 minute moving average and you see all of them are winners. If I go to the next one, um, first of all, what we look here, uh, the, look at the moving average, the 50 day and the 21. The 21 is above the 50, it means this trend is upwards. Now you can see the price came, it retraced here, look here guys, it retraced there. I'm a little bit nervous because look at this price, the next bar, it retraced all the way here. Sometimes if, if the, the support is too far, this bar can even be a bear bar and close there. So there must not be space. So, this one I see leave. But look at this one. Price retrace again. There is a bull bar with a pin with an arrow at this resistance area. And look, the price retrace all the way back here. And you can take here a 5 minute call um, or a 10 or a 15. And then the only thing here is that it just happened at this uh, under this uh, resistance line. So it's safe to, to take maybe the second one which close above the resistance line. That blue line close above it. Then you take um, as that price retraces to this line, a 5 minute call or a 10 or a 15 and you see all of them are winners. I'm going to the next one. Again, um, I look first of the main trend. We have a 50 day and a 20 or one day moving average here. Price went above it as price came down. I'm looking for a bull bar of a pin which you can see there. And then as the next bar open, I ask uh, how far can it retrace? Um, is there some space? Um, and you see it retrace it open at that 20 uh, one day exponential moving average and at that point I'll take a 5 minute call or a 10 minute or a 15 minute and you're in the money all of them. Now on the uh, bear side let me go to that um, you see here the moving average um, it changed now the 50 is above and the 21 is below so this trend is downwards in this downwards trend what you will do is um, you want the price to retrace to this area, but look at this one. This one didn't retrace all the way there, but as it came make a double top here, we have a bear bar with a pin and it closed under the resistance line. You see here, that blue line, it's now a resistance line, it closed underneath that. So basically what I do is I will wait for the price, don't just take the next bar and, and short it, wait for the price to retrace back to this resistance line and then you, you take a fake push there, take a 5 minute put or a 10 minute or a 15 minute put. Sometimes I take all three of them at that point. Now let me show you guys another one. You see here, look at the main trend. First the main trend is downwards guys. You see there, blue is above, purple is underneath. So the trend is downwards. Now you are going to ask me what about this one. This is a beautiful one but what I don't like here is this blue line is a res, uh, support and you want to, if this bear bar close under that support, that's a different story. 
but it didn't. So you see the next bar, it hit it and again goes up. So this one is not a setup. But look at this one. We have a bear bar going all the way up, close under the resistance line in this area, the, the 21 and the 50 day moving average. This one even have a yellow arrow. You don't it's gonna see it all the time there. And then what I want as the next bar open, I wait for this bar, look at that, but it retraces back to that area. As it touches it, you take a five minute put fake push and you're in the money, or even a 10 or 15 minute, both of them are winners, all three of them. Um, this one, you see, uh, we not uh, what I want to show you is let's assume this was look, let's look, go to this one. You see, there's a bull bar of a pin here. I don't take this one because the trend, uh, I only take bull bars uh, with pins if the trend is upwards. Because the trend is downwards, I won't take this one. It can go any place. Go to the next one. Okay, first of all, look at the main trend. Main trend is downwards because the 50 days above and the 21 days below. As price came to this area, I'm looking for bull, bear bars with pins. Um, and you see, just at that area, we have a bear bar with a pin. But what is the most important thing here? It closed just under the resistance line. So as an next bar open, I wait for the price to come and retest that line. Sometimes even 50%. If it just retraces 50%, I take a 5 minute put there, boom. In the money, if you take a 10 minute, you're still in the money. A 15 minute, you're still in the money. Sometimes I take all three of them there. Okay, so this is very important. So you first look at the trend. Is the trend up or down? We use a 50 day and 21 day moving average to see if the trend is up or down. Wait for the price to retrace to that area. Looking for a nice pin. Look at support and resistance. Let the price uh, in, uh, close under um, that on the bear side and on the bull side above it. And then don't I just take a blind trade entry as the next bar open. Wait for the price to go back at least 50% towards that area. And if you want to play safe, 100%. And then at, as it touches that line, I take there with confidence my um, five minute put in this case scenario. Guys, so if you are very interested and want to learn all the other techniques what we do, you can go to our website www.60secondsbinaryoptions.com or you can um, see how, how you can get involved and see how we trade every day live. Otherwise, if you just want to see how I did it on Wednesdays is free. Also, you can go to the website and register there and we will show you how we trade. Thank you.